Hello fellow light beings and hello Sagittarius. Welcome to my Moonbeam readings. I am Luna Ray and today we are reading for this upcoming weekend of Friday May 4th to Sunday May 6th. We begin our weekend with the Moon in Capricorn where she will stay most of the weekend until Sunday afternoon when she moves into Aquarius. This weekend we'll be spent seriously examining our current situations and relationships. It's very likely that many of us are currently or will be soon engaged in some form of conflict. This conflict is an indication that something just isn't working and needs to end. We need to be willing to let go to create space for new beginnings. Without further ado, my lovely Sagittarius, let's see what the cards have to say about this weekend. I want you to remember while we're going through this growth and the self-reflection, Make sure you get out, Sagittarius, and enjoy yourself a little this weekend. Self-growth and transformation is exhausting and hard work, so you need to make sure that you do something you enjoy this weekend, so Sagittarius, you're not just stuck in this, oh, everything's changing mood. That way you can be free to enjoy yourself a little. All right, Sagittarius, if you're used to the Love Moon readings, the days you Love Moon and I do together, this will be very different. I did our shuffle, now I'm going to pull five cards, we'll lay them out, and that will tell us what's going on with your weekend. So, set these aside Sagittarius where we need to shuffle some out and let's see what these cards have to say shall we so the first card here on the left is the seven of diamonds the seven of diamonds is a fair amount of money it's a lot of money that's going to be coming to you soon so it's either going to be coming to you now or you actually have this money come into your life in the recent past this is something that has already happened so either just right now today you have learned about the money or you have recently learned about the money but a fair amount of money has been coming you need to be careful with your finances even though you've received this large amount of money and avoid spending an excess Sagittarius because money wasted doesn't return invest this in you don't invest in anybody else don't be talking to investing in anyone else you're going to need it more later on we have the Queen of Hearts here and this is either you or this is somebody in your life. And the Queen of Hearts is a fair, complected female. Let's see what she has involved with in your recent past or right now. What's going on with her that's affecting your life if this isn't you? Ah, and new beginnings. So you have had new beginnings coming your way and fresh starts or you've had a fresh start with this person in your life, or they're bringing you a fresh start or new beginning, and it's what's brought this financial, finance, financial security into your life. So perhaps you've started a new job, or a new project, or a new relationship, but good things are going on in your life with this new beginning with this person. Things are just looking awesome. And looky here, we have more money coming your way. We have the five of diamonds. Again, this is a fairly significant amount of money. You're going to be prosperous. You are really prospering right now. You're seeing decent changes in your finances. You've had unexpected business news that's coming your way or recently has come your way. And any problems that you've been having recently, they'll be resolving themselves successfully in your favor. So right now, Sagittarius, things are so going your way. We have the four of hearts here. So right now, or here very soon, you'll be receiving a proposal of some sort. So it could have been a proposal for a new job that you've received recently. Or this could be even a proposal in love. Could be a proposal for a business plan. But 
some sort of proposal has been occurring in your life that is bringing about all of this positive change and this love and you really are just surrounded by love and positive energy and you're a very committed soul in your passions and your choices and you feel confident in them. However, with every yin there is a yang, and we have the Ten of Spades here. The Ten of Spades in, in Love Moon, Daisy and I, in our readings, it means, states mean travel. So this could be travel, but with me and my readings and my research, spades generally mean trap or trouble for me. The Ten of Spades kind of casts a bit of an ominous shadow. So it's showing that the, here in the near future, you're really going to be stumbling into some emotions that aren't necessarily bad, but maybe some frustration. Maybe you are going to be involved in some conflict here soon with this moon, and you're going to feel overwhelmed. Maybe with this change, even though you're excited about it, change can be scary, so you're a little nervous about this change. You've kind of felt overwhelmed by some negative energies that are around you, caused by this shadow. What I want you to realize is that you need to let these negative emotions go and remember that anything that's being let go of, anything that's being changed, anything that's being removed from your life, even if you feel like you don't have control over it, remember that it's doing positive things in your life and starting positive new beginnings. So any trouble that might come into your life is going to be short. And remember, while during this time of a fear of change and a little bit of irritability and just negative, feeling a little negative and, and feeling a little overwhelmed, remember what positivity you're surrounded by Sagittarius. Remember that you have things going your way. Remember you are surrounded by love and remember that none of these negative emotions will last forever and whenever that negative emotion ends, you will remember and realize that you're surrounded by beauty, love, and success. With every new beginning comes a little fear, Sagittarius. Don't let it overwhelm you. That's just what I see for your weekend. I hope you enjoy it. And then I will see you on Monday so we can talk about what's going on with your week next week. I look forward to seeing you then. Don't forget to subscribe to Luna Ray or Daisy Love Moon. I recommend subscribing to both of us. That way you never miss any of the exciting news that we have for you. All right, Sagittarius. Enjoy your weekend and thank you. I'll see you Monday.